Look at me. Look at me. Stop for a moment and look at me. Trembling on the witness stand, I bravely set my right hand on the Bible. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me God. Like a fast pitch in Major League Baseball, you fire the questions at me, hitting me harder than the first time he did. You stand there, self-righteous, overeducated in your designer's suit, arrogantly believing you would never let a man treat you the way he treats me. The interrogation unfolds. Why? Why? Look at me. Look at me. Stop for a moment and look at me. My battered face is beautiful behind the shades of purple and blue. My eyes, now half shut and swollen, once sparkled with pure happiness. My bruised and broken heart once believed true love could conquer all. My mind, now distracted by daily migraines, is brilliant just like yours. Yes, he hit me, beat me, and left me there to weep. Yes, he cheated on me for years, speaking well-crafted lies. Yes, he abused me physically, mentally, and emotionally. Yes, I stayed. Sitting beside the judge with shaking knees, I boldly turned towards the jury. He promised it would never happen again. With curious eyes, my peers simply stared at me, piercing right through me, past my self-convincing words, straight to my heart. You sit there astonished, noticeably confused, with pity drawn on your face, confident that you would never stay with a man like mine. The interrogation continues. Why? Why? Tears well up in my eyes. How could you understand our love? The man who counted every star in the evening sky for me. The man who believed in me as I chased my dreams. The man who complimented me often with such adoring words. The man who proposed on one knee and promised before God to honor me in good times and bad. The man who held our newborn in his arms. You were not there, he was. This troubled man was my everything. I was going to save him. Our love would prevail. And then he hit me again. 